Hello everyone, welcome to day 28 of our Lent 1 or 2 series. Today's topic is pride. Pride, Ibiraga. <laughs> what is pride? Pride is known as giving ourselves credit for something that God has accomplished. Giving yourself credit for something God has accomplished. And you want to say, oh, I did this myself. Let's go into the word and let's see what it says about pride. If we open our Bible to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 2, it says, when pride Comet, then comet shame, but with the lowly is wisdom. Pride, when you have pride, your chest is high there. You're moving left and right. Oh, I did it myself. But can you shower blessing on yourself? Ask yourself that. God gives the blessing to you. When God gives you something and you have that, that is not you, that is not your doing, that is God. That's you believing in God. That God is going to do this and you not having that pride would make that blessing even more but when you have that pride there's going to be shame there's going to be disappointment you will lose everything it says it there it says but with the lowly is wisdom when you walk in silence and you work in silence and you pray and God blesses you and you go to your church you pay your tithe you pay your offering that's not pride that is you just showing that you're grateful that you love God for what he has done, then the wisdom will be there. You have that. Your medulla oblongata will be wiser than ever. But when you have that pride, no, you're not going anywhere. Then he says in Proverbs 11 verse 12, he said, He that is void of wisdom, despised his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. When you have pride, you will not get into arguments with people. When you have pride, I'm telling you, <laughs> you're not going forward. But when you don't have pride, there is peace. That peace of mind, if for kombale, or one bear, you will sleep, wake up, do the things that you need to do, go to church, praise God, and have a smooth journey in your life. Pride is of the devil. Now you see, if you look at when Jesus went to the top to fast, 40 days and 40 nights yeah devil came and tried to trick him he said i will give you the whole world now when you have pride you can even tell your fellow human being and say listen i've done it myself and you didn't do it yourself oh. it was god but you show you show off you boast you have that big chest and say nah this is this is my doing but when you don't have that pride people will see what god has done God's blessing will shine through you and you feel elevated and they would feel elevated and they would love what God is doing in your life. And even though even, they will wish you more, but when you have pride, things will not go well. I'm going to go further and go into verse 16 of that same Proverbs 11. It says, a gracious woman retaineth honor and a strong man retain riches. I'll repeat that. A gracious woman retain it honor. What is that trying to say? A woman that is gracious, she too much. She won't do too much. She will not she will not show that ah me. You know nowadays especially those that like to fly around and go to Dubai and go to this that say ah I have this I have this let's go and spend the cash dollars. Nibo we cash dollars take you to heaven. It won't take you anywhere. It's air. Things of the world will always remain in the world. And what we all need to understand is there is a world after this, but a lot of us, especially young adults, we don't see these things because we want to live in the moment. So we have that pride. Some of us have so much pride that we can't even settle the malice that we've kept for like five years. Where is that going to take you? A friend has probably upset you. And because of the pride you have that, oh, I can't bring myself low. No. Could you? Could possible. But Nibo. Do you know that even when you keep malice, and let's say something happens to you, God forbid, but, and you face God, you'll be rejected at the door, turn around. 
He would not show his face to you. He would not welcome you because you do not have that peace. You do not have that love within you. In the Bible, it says pride can be seen as insolence. He says pride can be seen as presumptuousness, arrogance, conceit, high-mindedness, egotism. Your, your ego is very high. You don't want to bring it down. Now you be the only one. We human beings, God knows that we make mistakes. Yes, we're humans. Everybody makes mistakes. But to the you can't make so much mistake to the point where you don't understand your pride. You don't understand that you have pride. And when they're telling you, when somebody, let's say someone older than you is telling you that you have pride, and you're like, no, I don't have a pride. I'm just basically telling you what I feel. But that is not right. Pride is a very bad thing that we need to avoid. This Lenten season, we need to be able to understand that if you have a pride within you, put that aside. I myself, I have my own flaws too, where I'm stubborn, I don't want to let go of things. But over the years, I've been able to understand that if I don't let go of these things, I can't be sitting here talking, preaching to you because that means I haven't let go of it. So I had to understand that my pride, my ego, my anger, my arrogance, I have to push that to one side for God to embrace God. For God to see that, okay, Tayo is trying and he's doing what he needs to do. But are you doing what you need to do? As a human being, as a Christian, are you doing what you need to do? Are you tapping into that love, ignoring the pride? Ignoring the ego that you have? Are you embracing everything around you? Are you embracing the ups and the downs? Ask yourself that. I'm going to go further into the Bible to see what it also says about pride. Luke chapter 18, verse 17. It says, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Now, when we're young, we have these things that we go through, which is maturing. Now, when you mature into that level and you still have that pride and you don't accept the kingdom of God, you're not going to enter. It's right there. It's right there. Pride, it develops in you. And when you still don't let go of it. How can you enter the, the kingdom of God? Ask yourself that. How? This is one of the reasons why we need to drop pride. We need to leave it because it's not for us. It's of the devil. I hope that in this Lenten period, we all understand that pride is a very bad thing and we should not have that as human beings. Now, a lot of people, will, they will argue that. <laughs> That's what the society loves to do. They'll argue that and say, no, pride is not a bad thing. But then if you listen to them and you do not listen to your mind, then you're deceiving yourself. God has bestowed a lot of things upon us. And one of those things we have is this brain. And another thing we have is the intuition that is in our heart. Our intuition speak to us. And that's not just the second person inside of you, know, that's God. God speaks into your intuition. That's how you're able to do things that you want to do. Me speaking to you today is not just me speaking. I'm not just saying things from my head. I'm saying things that I believe God wants me to say and I'm saying things that I've seen around and I've seen other people do. We all make mistakes like I said earlier but with pride on our side we we'll always make those mistakes but with God on our side we won't make those mistakes. I hope you're able to leave your pride. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to day 28 of our Lent 1 and 2 series. Please be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms at Morning Start London, where we'll be uploading daily content to help you throughout this Lenten season. Thank you and God bless.